ECMAScript and JavaScript, what is the difference? If you have been in the JavaScript tech space for a while, chances are that you most likely have heard of something like ES 2015 ECMAScript 2015 ECMAScript 6 ECMAScript 2022 ES 2022 ES this ES that and many people actually use ECMAScript and JavaScript interchangeably like they are the same thing. Although they have something in common, actually they have a lot in common, but they are literally different things. So in this video, I'll be helping you understand the difference between ECMAScript and and JavaScript. To understand the relationship between ECMAScript and JavaScript, you may have to go down memory lane to the era of JavaScript's invention. But in this video, I'll not be going so deep into history. I'll just be sharing a bit of that history to help you understand the difference. The summarized difference is that ECMAScript is a specification. It is like a standard. It defines the rules or the features that should be in scripting languages. And then JavaScript is an implementation of that specification. JavaScript script is built or it is updated based on the standards that are defined in this specification. And JavaScript is not the only implementation of ECMAScript, there are a couple of other implementations. Now to the detailed difference. So you know JavaScript is a programming language and like I said ECMAScript is a specification, but what specification is this exactly? To understand what ECMAScript is, you need to understand what ECMA is. If you go to the ECMA website which is ECMA-international.org, you'll be able to to see what ECMA is all about. ECMA is an abbreviation for European Computer Manufacturers Association. And as you can see here, it is an industry association dedicated to the standardization of information and communication systems. ECMAScript is one of those standards, but they actually have a lot of other standards. So if you come to the nav here and you check standards, you'll be able to see a couple of standards that this association has defined. So as you can see, this specification here is ECMA 422, and this is the C sharp specification specification suite. There is ECMA 421. This is quality discrimination method of blah, 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 blah. I don't know what this is. But let's just go to the specification that JavaScript is built upon, which is ECMAScript. And that is ECMA 262. Wow, this is a long list of standards. This association has really come up with a lot of standards. 262, there we are. This is the ECMAScript 2022 language specification. And the reason why it has 2022 here is because this is the date of the last edition. So the last edition was the 13th edition, which was June 2022. And as you can see here, this standard defines the ECMAScript 2022 general purpose programming language. So if you want to create a scripting language that conforms to the ECMA standard, then you have to build it based on ECMA 262, which is ECMAScript. And if you also click on view in HTML here, you can see this is a very long page that defines different things for this specification. If we scroll on the left here, you can see null type, boolean type. So if you have a scripting language, you should have have a boolean value you should have a null type if we keep scrolling uh, fundamental object here you see again it should have a function object it should have a boolean object you should have an error object these are things that javascript has but this comes from the ecmascript specification so the specification says your scripting language should have these things and javascript has these things because it is built upon this implementation and like i said javascript is not the only implementation so if you go on wikipedia and you check ecmascript you can see different implementations of ECMAScript. Here we have the major implementations. So aside JavaScript, there is ActionScript, there is JScript, there is QtScript, InScript, Google Apps Script. So you can see there are multiple implementations and you can actually research some of these implementations later to know what the differences are. One of the reasons why JavaScript is more associated with ECMAScript is because JavaScript is like the most common or the generally known implementation. In fact, I didn't even know that there was something like InScript or Google Apps Script until I was actually preparing for this video. So ECMAScript is a specification, a standard, and you can think of this in different ways. For example, when it comes to keyboards, you have different standards or layout standards. If you check the keyboard layout page on Wikipedia, on the left here you can see different layout standards. QWERTY is a popular layout standard where you have Q, W, E, R, T, Y, and a couple of keys in a particular order. There are also other standards here. There are keyboard layouts for non-Latin alphabetic script. There are 
couple of layouts. Now, let's say I want to create a keyboard today and then I use a layout that is not part of this standard. It will be difficult for people to use my product because I am showing a new layout which they are not used to, which is not a standard or which is not generally acceptable. So if I want to create the keyboard and I want people to use it, I want people to enjoy my product, I can use one of these standards. Could be the QWERTY, could be the QWERTZ, could be the Azeti. So you can also think about that when it comes to ECMAScript. When you go down memory lane, you'll see that initially JavaScript was created without a standard or specification and this resulted in browser incompatibilities where a particular browser will implement a scripting language like JavaScript, another browser would implement a different scripting language and then a code that you have here will not be able to run here because they are different. So this was one of the reasons why ECMAScript was beneficial because it helped to create those standards for the scripting languages that you can put on different browsers. And if you also check it, Java also has a specification. If you go to the link on the page currently, you would see the specification for Java. Even PHP has a specification which defines the rules, the syntax for PHP, how to execute PHP code and things like that. Even Python has a specification, although here it is written as the language reference. A couple of languages have specifications and just like JavaScript, which didn't have a specification before, now it has a specification which is ECMAScript. So again, ECMAScript is the specification, JavaScript is the implementation. So JavaScript is built upon the standards defined by ECMAScript. So as ECMAScript as a specification continues to advance, define more rules that can help us write code better, then JavaScript as an implementation would also need to advance to implement these new standards. And JavaScript code is being executed by different JavaScript engines. So those engines would be responsible for improving their implementation of JavaScript as a scripting language based on the standards in ECMAScript. Just as we have ES2022, if we also have ES2023, ES2024 having more features, these are just the specifications, just the standards. It's the implementation of JavaScript as a scripting language that would upgrade to support these new specifications. So I hope this video helps you understand the difference between ECMAScript and JavaScript. Now, when you go through the ECMAScript specification, you'd notice that things like console or fetch API or set timeout or set intervals, those things are not in the specification, but they are in JavaScript. When you run JavaScript on browser, when you run JavaScript on Node.js, you can do fetch, you can do console, you can do all of these things. Now, these things do not come from the specification, but these things are exposed to JavaScript by the environment that JavaScript is being run in. So when JavaScript is being executed in the browser environment, the browser would expose some of those APIs, console API, fetch API, timer APIs. When JavaScript is executed in the Node.js environment, same thing happens. The Node.js environment exposes those APIs. Now, if you want to learn more about that, I actually have a separate video. You click on the video by the right here, where I explained how browser APIs, Node.js APIs are able to empower JavaScript to do more than what JavaScript can do based on the ECMAScript specification. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, share, and subscribe for more simplified videos on JavaScript like this.